So because the curriculum is already made and you're just you're individualizing that and bringing that to life as you move around, um, the burden of creating lesson after lesson every day is taken off of you. However, what we put back on you is the facilitation plan. That asks for an individualized objective for each kid each day or at the very least each week with sort of a running record that, that's going along so that teachers can know where each student is um, and students will also know. So a facilitation plan is just a way to keep track of all those things that are happening on the schedule. My facilitation plan has all 28 of my students, what their monthly credit focus is, and how they're doing. And I use that to help schedule times um, that teachers are coming in to do those mini lessons or doing those pullouts as well. Um, one of the other elements of the facilitation plan is to track those skills. So we use a series of competency, which is a mastery-based um, grading system so we know what the skills are that they're working on and how they're progressing on those skills. That's another element of the facilitation plan. So I can keep track of um, who's working on what skill and find ways to apply those, not just in a single subject, but usually across subject areas. Because so if they're working on an argument in English class, that can also be the same skill they're using for history as well, to argue the impact of a historical event. And then we start to talk about um, skills over time rather than simply content knowledge for the sake of passing some state exam.